All right, guys, welcome back to the sesh. So uh, in today's video, as you could probably tell from the uh, thumbnail and the title, we're going to be making some bread. But of course, first, as always, we're going to start the sesh with a little dab. We're having some googly moogly live batter coming from head change. Then we're going to go make some bread. It's a long process. It's going to take me most of my, uh, you know, early daytime. So anyways, I've got this hot and ready to go. We're just waiting for this to get to temp. So. Yeah, we're going to have ourselves a little dab and then make some bread today. All right, should be sitting right around 5.30 to 5.50 or so. So here we go. Cheers. All right, so there we have it on the dab, nice and vaporized in there, cleaned up well. So, uh, like I said, we're going to be making some bread today. It's the uh, it's a Parmesan and garlic cheesy bread of some kind. It's in the, I'll go be flashing up a little video of it right now so you can see, uh, but basically just making bread. Plus, you know, whatever spices and cheese you may want to add would work. You don't necessarily have to make it exactly like this, but yeah, that's what we're going to be making today. So I'm going to get this cleaned up. We'll transition over to the kitchen and get stuff started. All right, I'm in the kitchen. I've got the cookbook. It's the Disney Cooking with Magic, a Century of Recipes cookbook. Inspired by decades of Disney's animated films from Steamboat Willie to Wish. So, the recipe we're working with here today is the Parmesan Garlic Braided Skillet Bread. It is inspired by Rapunzel. It looks like that. Well, theirs look like looks like that. I don't know if mine will, <laughs> but it will probably taste just as good because I'm going to do it exactly how they say it. So here is what you will need you want to make this stuff that's for the bread there's also a filling that will go in the bread there we go so i'm going to set the camera up and get the ingredients going and uh we'll make us some bread all right so the first thing you want to do is peel and dice up your potatoes uh, you'll then end up boiling them for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are soft enough to mash up. So what you're seeing here is me just chopping them up, get them nice and diced up. I do not cut very well, so you'll just have to ignore that. <laughs> I'm not, I never claim to be good at this. <laughs> I just enjoy it. Um, so anyways... And into the pot they go. Set that to a medium high heat until it starts boiling. Then put it down to about a medium, medium to medium low for 15 to 20 minutes. Then you'll take your flour, combine it with the dry yeast. Mix that all up. Make sure it's combined nice. Then remove your potatoes. You'll keep... Uh, about a cup for all of the spices and butter then you'll mash the potatoes combined all your spices the butter the flour yeasts uh, and some eggs in a mixer and then uh, kind of slowly add in the potatoes as you mix then once you have sort of a solid dough this dough was not quite dry enough yet i needed a lot more 
flour in there. Um, so you can see here it gets real messy real fast. Um, but I end up getting it working. I uh, have my mom help me out actually <laughs> pour a bunch of uh, flour onto it while I sit there and mash it all together. And I eventually get it in a glass bowl here, um, here in a second. And folded a bunch more flour into it and it ended up working out all right. I got it worked out into a nice, stiff, firm dough that I then placed in a generously oiled uh, bowl and then you kind of spin it around, make sure the whole surface of the dough ball is covered in a nice little oily sheen. Uh, and this is a good time to make the spread. So you'll need butter, garlic, rosemary, and a fork to mush it up with. So after resting for, or rising for a good 45 minutes or so, you want to punch it down, let it rest for 10 more minutes, and then roll it out. Uh, cover with your filling, sprinkle on some cheese that I actually forgot to do here. And I ended up just putting the cheese on top, but you'll cut it long ways, kind of layer it together so it looks like it's braided, and turn it into a circle, and there you go. I sprinkled some cheese on top, uh, and that ended up crisping up a little bit more than I wanted it to, but we're all good. Put it in the oven for 375, cook for about 20 minutes, and there you go. All right, so here we are. I've got got the slice, nice big slice of bread right here. I've also got a dab here ready to go. So I've got this uh, the shark bait ooh la la hammerhead piece ready to go. I am going to check the temp on it real quick before I hit that, but it should be pretty close to time here. Let's see. Yeah, we're at about 590. So just a few more seconds. We'll have a dab and then dig into this bread. It looks so good and smells amazing. All right, so we're sitting at just under about 550. So I'm gonna prepare here a little bit. Give it a couple seconds. All right, here we go, cheers. And it's 520 as well, or 520, 420 as well. I don't know where 520 came from. All right, that'll do it on that. <coughs> hmm. And I did burn myself. You can kind of see it. Give myself a nice little burn. Right there. It's red around it. But the burn is just in the middle right there. It hurt. Touched the skillet while it was still a little hot. Oopsie. So let's eat this bread. It's still steaming. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. So it's got rosemary, a little turmeric, um, some, oh, what's it called? Fennel. What else? Oh, yeah, some uh, garlic in there as well. Look at that. That looks amazing. And steaming like that. Ooh. <laughs> this is a winner. Mm. I probably didn't need to give myself this big of a slice, but damn, it is good. Hmm. I can only imagine if I actually rolled the cheese into it like I should have, it'd have been amazing. It would have been amazing, but 
this works pretty well too. This is still really good. Very flavorful. Mm. And some of the cheese that I put on top did get a little, little bit overcooked. But I don't know. It doesn't bother me at all. It tastes great. Alright, so there you have it. That was very good. And you know, there were some hiccups along the way. But I think the final product checks out pretty well. Um, I'll definitely have to make it a couple more times before I'm like comfortable with it. But this is a pretty nice little recipe. I like it a lot. Bread's got a lot of flavor to it, which is nice. Nice and fluffy. And soft really good so that's it i highly recommend either checking out this cookbook in general because there's a lot of stuff in that in that disney cookbook that look fantastic all sorts of stuff um from like drinks and like mocktail type things to uh like baked goods and everything in between really so a whole lot of stuff going on in that cookbook uh this one worked out very very well um, there's a drink I actually wanted to make today, but that didn't really work out like I wanted it to. Um, some of the ingredients were a little bit harder to source than I expected them to be. Um, there was like, for one of the drinks that I was looking at, there was butterfly, pea, flower, uh, either tea or just like the flowers themselves, uh, as long as it was just straight butterfly pea flower but that wasn't as easy to source overnight you know because it was last minute i was like oh shit i don't have anything for wednesday what the fuck am i gonna do let's cook something that's always you know pretty good even when it goes poorly it's still good i guess it's experience in cooking which is always good uh so yeah this one happened to go very well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you sticking around until the end and uh, drop me a like. I always appreciate seeing those as well. And uh, yeah, if you have anything to add or comment on, please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say as always, of course. And um, yeah, if you're new and watching at this point, thank you so, so much for watching until the end. Uh, I post typically cannabis related reviews on Mondays, sometimes on Wednesdays. Uh, but I also do just a random assortment of stuff. Sometimes it's a sesh cast. Sometimes like I made this bong a few weeks ago or this rig, I should call it since I use it for concentrates really. Um, I cook stuff from time to time. So that's what you can expect on Wednesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I typically stream. Uh, if you are watching this live on Wednesday, yesterday was Tuesday. I did not stream because I was recording this. But I do plan on going live Wednesday afternoon. So if you're watching this on YouTube, check me over, check me out over on Twitch. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, I'll be playing some video games, mostly uh, doing taste tests for new hauls and uh, whatever else I decide to do as far as live, stream, live streams go. I typically just like playing a video game because I don't have like a crowd to hang out with. So, you know. If there were several people watching, I'd just sit there and chit-chat all night for all I care. But <laughs> anyways, yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays to, to about 4.30 Central Time. And then I, I post the highlight videos on Fridays. So that's it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.